Hey guys, we're really, really excited today to have the CEO of Manatech with us. It's a real honor and a real privilege to have Mr. Al Bello with us. And um, for all our young entrepreneurs that are part of our team, you guys will know Al. And uh, man, he's been such a big mentor for us over the years. And we met him a couple of years ago in Dallas. And um, yeah, we're just really, really privileged to have him with us here today, just to come and shed some knowledge on his experience, not only in the industry of network marketing, but also as being the CEO of a major publicly listed company. So Al, firstly, thanks so much for, for giving us well, thank uh, you, your Gary. time. Yeah, we, we appreciate really it. appreciate it. We know you're really busy. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to what you have to say. Welcome, and I'm glad to be here, and I'm really proud of you and Charmaine. Uh, you guys have done an amazing job with Manatech over the years, but I have the feeling that you're gonna do even bigger things. You got big things in your future, so I'm really excited to be able to be part of your journey as well. Thanks, Al, we'll receive that. <laughs> and um, Al, so I'm gonna start off by asking you just to share a bit on your journey, um, you know, where it all started for you, maybe a little bit on your story. Obviously, you can't go into too much detail because of time, but I mean, just shortly, you know, where are you from and how did everything lead up to being the CEO of a listed company? All right, well, obviously we all love talking about our story, right? But uh, uh, my story starts, uh, well, 50 year, 56 years ago, it started in Senegal, West Africa. Uh, I'm, my parents are Portuguese, I was born in uh, French West Africa. I immigrated to the US when I was 17 years old. So, yep. and, and this guy was, you know, was the first, it was the first time I've ever heard people say that the nine to five, the 40 year plan didn't work. Mm. That he was more excited about the two to five year plan. Mm. Mm. And he, this is the guy who was already doing what I was gonna do 20 years from now. Yep. And he was not excited about that, he was excited about the two to five year plan. So I wanted to know what that two to five year plan was. Awesome. And by the, by the end of the night, for some reason, I just got committed to doing that. Started in my own business at the age of 20. Uh, and I got, I caught two dreams at that point. One dream was that I could retire in my, in my 30s. Yep. And another dream was that one day I'd be traveling the world visiting my businesses. Wow. We'll but go into a bit more depth on mm -hmm. that and your knowledge specifically on the new you economy and the way things have evolved. Um, but I want to ask you, you know, throughout your whole journey, why network marketing? You know, there's so many other industries out mm -hmm. there. There are many different ways to become financially independent. Why? Why did you choose network marketing? Why are you so passionate about network marketing? Um, you know, and we spoke about so many people who have had bad experiences in the mm -hmm. past, who have these pre, um, preconceived ideas about the industry. Um, so yeah, I, I'd love to know from you, and, I, and I'm sure so many other people as well. You know, why specifically network marketing? Great, that's a that's a great question uh, because you know there's a lot of ways people can make a living. There's no question about it, and and, and I hope uh, people that are viewing us right now have probably heard of the four quadrants, the yep. four, you know the, the the wealth quadrants by. Uh, by Kiyosaki and basically you know you have the employee you have the self-employed you know you have the business with a big B you mm -hmm. know, which is you know you're leveraging other people's uh, uh, productivity and then you have investors those are the four ways that you can make money in this yeah. world uh, and obviously we know that you know the B and, and I quadrant nine ten percent of the people live in those two quadrants but yet they control 90 percent of the wealth in the world yeah while employees and self-employed, 90% of the people are employed or mm -hmm. self-employed, but they only control 10% of the wealth. So for me, obviously the first thing we need to all learn to do is how do you move from the E quadrant yep. to the B quadrant? But B quadrant is about leverage. You know, now, you know, for most people, there is a lot of barriers to being in business for yourself, and there's a lot of risk. And also, yep. we know that 90% of new businesses fail in the first five years. Mm -hmm. Folks, if you just hear that, that's enough to kind of, you know, uh, discourage you exactly. from getting started. That's why most people don't get started. And to, and to rather play it safe. We play it safe, right? Yeah, because you don't have the contacts, mm. you don't have the capital to start a, a business, you know, you, you don't have the knowledge. And for most people, they don't have the time because they're so busy, yeah. you know, making a living, they can't take the time to make a life, right? Oh, oh. So, so for me, network marketing was like a no-brainer. Mm. I could start for a few hundred dollars, mm. I, you know, I could do it on my own time. I could, I could really do it part-time, mm -hmm. but I could take a part-time activity and turn it into a, a full-time income. income. I could use this incredible tool called leverage. Now you gotta go, if you go back 
30 some years ago when I got started, there was nothing to leverage. And that's why some people are still stuck in direct selling as it used to be years ago. Wow. You know, before yeah. technology. You're just selling a bunch of products. You're just selling a bunch of products. Yeah. There was no technology to leverage you. Yeah, yeah. And it was hard. Mm. There's no question it was hard. It was not for the faint of, you know, a faint of heart. You had to really work mm. hard to succeed. And that's why, you know, uh, you know it was, it's not unusual that a lot of people didn't succeed mm. because it was hard. Yep. But then I, if you fast forward 30 years later, we have in our hands technology that really allows us to leverage these concepts and, 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 and really, it's, it's almost like you, know, you amplify leverage. Yep. Leverage is what you want. And this industry, the reason I love network marketing is because it, it helps me to leverage me. Wow. Now, in a U economy, you can be an Uber driver, mm -hmm. but an Uber driver, you're still exchanging time for money. money. There's no leverage. Yep. You, you, there's a ceiling to your income. You know, but in our industry, there's no ceiling. People say, well, it kind of looks like a pyramid. Yes, it is a pyramid. It looks like this. It's an inverted pyramid. Mm -hmm. You start at the bottom and there's no top. Yeah. That is, you know, that's the kind of pyramid I like. The pyramid I work in is this way. You know, th there's only one CEO at the top of that pyramid. And that's you. That's me. <laughs> you know, and there's about 10 other guys who want where yeah. I am. And for, for them to get there, somebody's going to kick me out. Okay. So, so that's not the kind of pyramid I want. I'd rather be in this pyramid where there's no ceiling. Yeah. So that for me, that's why I love network marketing. But today in a social mobile global world where we have these tools of technology and, and productivity, that allows us to impact people anywhere in the world. Yeah. 1.7 billion people live just on Facebook alone, you know, from every country in the world. Sure. Right? And we have the ability to reach out, we have the ability to impact, we have the ability to influence mm -hmm. their buying habits and, and then be able to present them with an opportunity that they can take advantage of. I mean, I couldn't think of it. So if it was a great idea 36 mm -hmm. years ago, mm -hmm. it's, it's even a better idea today than it's ever been. That's why we are in the infancy of this next generation mm. of the, the, what we call social selling, but social selling powered by social, mobile, global. And when you put that together, if I was your age, I mean, if I was the age of anybody watching, if I'm between, between my 20s and, you know, in my 20s, and I'm telling you something, this is the easiest way for me to make that leap from entrepreneur to a business owner, to micro, you know, no, I'm sorry, from the employee to micro entrepreneur. What's a micro entrepreneur? A micro, an entrepreneur of one. But today technology can take a one person and make you look like a big business. 100%. Like any, never in the history of humanity, wow. we've had the kind of tools that we have today to really, really be a full-fledged business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as one person. Wow. And that's why I love this industry. Plus the other piece of this industry, why I love network marketing, because it's about people. 100%. It's about people. And that's what we love about it so much. Right? Yeah, the fact you, that you can empower you can, people. You can impact other people. 100%. You can influence their lives in a positive mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Because at, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, your life was only is going to be measured by how many people you impacted with what you did. Wow. And that's why for me, network marketing really elevates all of that to a place where we can really achieve the greatness that has been endowed in us from the day we were born. Take good supplements. I'm going to live there you a long go. time. There you go. But I mean, I mean, you're inspiring thousands and thousands of people all across the world. So this is this is inspiring for all of us, and I'm sure you guys will agree. Um, so, Al, the next question that I have for you is: obviously, you've seen what it's like to build a business, you know, to build a network marketing business, and now you know you've experienced a, a whole lot of years um, in corporate. So maybe just chat about the difference between the two, and you know, uh, I mean. Do you sometimes think of maybe building a business yourself or does it sometimes, you know, come across your path that maybe you shouldn't have gone corporate or I don't know, maybe just a okay. story and how it's sort of like integrated um, and the difference between the two? Well, I mean, obviously, um, coming from spending 25 years or 28 years as, as an entrepreneur in a direct sales industry, if someone really truly has a great chance in this industry, sure. unless the corporate culture matches the you know the associate culture yeah and and I tell you in 4,000 companies out there there's very few CEOs of those companies that have lived the life of an associate yeah you know and, and, and as long as I lived it and in mm. as many countries I lived it mm. so for me it became a challenge a true personal challenge to create a company that could really embody those values yeah. and a culture that really would match the culture of an associate. I, 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 I don't think I would have done it unless I knew that what I was doing also is gonna help 
people like yourself and others and my wife and, and other people in my family to also really have a real opportunity in direct selling. Because I saw too many companies that they, 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 they sounded good, yep. but deep down, they didn't have that heart of an associate. Wow. They, were, they were there because it was a good way to make money. Direct selling works. Mm -hmm. It works as an associate. It works if you're a business owner. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to start a new business. It's a great way to expand internationally at low cost and everything else. So from a corporate side, it's an amazing business model. But if it doesn't have the heart of the associate at the top, if, if we're not creating value from the top down, eventually it's not going to be the maximum experience that an associate can have. <laughs> <laughs> so from, we've seen this whole social mobile global movement that you started in Manatech. And I can tell you that our young group are so fired up about that. Um, and, and, and we've been chatting about this for months on end and the possibilities that's created um, so maybe tell us a bit more about this social mobile global movement, mm -hmm. um, which you which you started I think last year sometime. Yep. Um, you know maybe go into a bit of depth on that specific topic. Well, you know I, I you know, you, you know, I'm a I'm a trend watcher. I mean I, I, I and my job as a CEO and before that I mean even when I was an associate, I, I wanted to always be you know following the trends. What's mm -hmm. going on in the world? Why is what I do relevant? Because mm -hmm. I don't want to ever catch myself in a place where what I do is not relevant. Yep. Why would you want to live life that way? Yep. You know? So I'm, I'm always looking at what's going on in the world because uh, the opportunity is really to, 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 the opportunity is in getting in front of a trend, not behind a trend. Mm -hmm. So you want to know what the trends are, you want to be ahead of the trends. And one of the things I could see really rapidly happening is that direct selling was very quickly changing into social selling. Mm -hmm. I mean, Gary, we're, we're the generation that's going to see the end of retail as we know it. Wow. All right? The wow. big malls, the yeah. big, you know, the big, that's, that's, that, that is now going to be like a white elephant. That's going to be like sure. archaic. This is not for people to leave their house, get in a car, drive, find parking, park their car, walk into a place, go look for things and buy it, go stand in line to pay for it, all that stuff. That is not the way people are going to do things in the future. Wow. So we got to, we got to, we got to be aware of those things mm -hmm. and we got to start positioning us in, 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 in being able to maximize these new opportunities. E-commerce is an amazing way to do business. Yep, I agree. Mm -hmm. So for me, I could see the social selling and then you, you see what's happened with you know, social media in general, the, the Facebook phenomenon and, and Pinterest and Twitter and all those things and you realize they are finding ways to connect people that's like we've never seen before. Yeah. Yeah. Because for me, it's, we are in a connection business. Yeah. It's all about making connections. 100%. But, so social mobile global is utilizing technology to make connections mm -hmm. at a match faster rate. This is like, you know, trust at the speed of light. You know, that's wow. trust at the speed of light. Yeah. Because of technology, over the next 20 years, two billion jobs are gonna disappear. And, and they're not going to another country, they're, not, they're disappearing. Sure. They're being replaced by robots, they're yep. being replaced by all these other tools of technology. So you're either going to be a victim of technology, you're going to be one of those people, the two billion people that lost their jobs and go, oh my God, this is the end of the world because sure. I lost my job because I got replaced by a robot. Sure. Guys, there's never been a, a greater opportunity. So what you got to do is figure out, well, how do I get started? Where do I get started? What's yeah. the easiest way for me to jump into this movement, this this micro entrepreneur, you economy, gig economy, freelance economy, sharing economy, it has many names, but it all says it's the same thing. Yep. It's people who are replacing the old model, the nine to five model, with a new model. And you know what? Fortunes are made in transitions. Powerful. Fortunes are made in transition. Folks, the biggest, wealthiest families in the world did it when everything looked like it was, you know, the, you know everything was going to pieces, that's yep. when they did it. I mean, awesome Al, thank you so much and you know, I think we'll leave it at that for now. Um, just lastly from our side, thank you so much for your time once again. We appreciate you more than you could ever imagine. Um, you're like a brother to us all, brothers in Christ, driving the kingdom yeah. of God Amen. all Amen. the way. Amen. Um, and we appreciate you. Called for, to do something amazing. Amen, yeah. 100%. We appreciate you for your boldness as well um, in driving this company forward. And Looking after us, taking right. care of us. So thank you so much, Al. You're welcome. And um, it's yeah. a pleasure. Thank awesome. you. Thank Great. you. Very proud of you. Thanks, Al. Right. Let's go back. Let's go back.
Let's go. Let's go platinum. All the way. Let's go platinum. Let's take some people with us.